Load up, players! Subscribe! What up, players? Warbots tear up in this mood. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint up a squad of these old metal. So far, I think they're coming out in Flamecast soon, but presently metal raptors for the Chaos Space Marines of the Warhammer 40,000 game system. And so I've got, I, I got my hands on a squad of these five, and I am going to do them in the color scheme of the Night Lords chapter. So the first thing I did was I primed all of them black with black spray, and then I added the following colors. So let's take a look at my guys. First thing I did was I base coated all the armor plates with Necron Abyss. Let me turn off my computer so that, there we go, we can see it a little bit better. So all the armor plates, Necron Abyss, and this also includes the jump pack on the back. The armor on the legs, and the talons. That's what I did first. And second, I highlighted the plates up with Regal Blue. So you have this. Ooh. Sorry about that. My ghetto turntable, aka fingers. So you can see how it lightens up the colors just a little bit. And then, now that that's done, we're going to leave the armor plates alone for a while and we're going to go on to the gold. So to base coat that, I use the Citadel Foundation color Calton Brown. And this is what we came up with. It was at this point that I decided when I was looking at the armor plates that on all the left shoulder plates, a lot of them have these mutation looking things where the left armor plate seemed to be coming alive and warping and, and mutating, so I decided that instead of keeping it blue, I was going to turn any of these mutated shoulder plates gold. So I went over my blue base coat with Calton Brown. But any of the trim, this back armor plate, right over there, the trim on the legs, and the belt buckle. Sorry about that. Then we paint the gold. We use Citadel Colors Shining Gold. And this is what we have. So as you can see the mutated armor plate. It might not even be mutation, it might just be that they sculpted their armor plate to look like a terrifying creature, but just to be safe I decided to to color it gold. And there's no trim on some of these armor plates for the legs, so it looks so bare without some kind of gold on the bottom, so I decided to color in the talons for anyone that doesn't have gold trim on their leg plates. Okay, and you want to distinguish where the blue and the gold is on the right shoulder plates because this is where we're going to draw our lightning symbols later along with the other flat surfaces like on the jetpack. Then once that is dry, the last thing we're going to do at this stage is give everything a wash of Bad Dad Black to darken it all up. And here's our aspiring champion. Can you? It's 
somebody's watching infomercials next door. Ah, stop falling, Night Lord. You're supposed to be able to balance and be graceful and stuff. Anyways, this is the first steps of our painting process done. So I am going to paint the rest of my guys up to this standard. And then we are going to go on and move on to the lightning re retouching up of the armor plates. So we'll see you back in a little bit. All right, so after you're done washing your Night Lord's Raptors, you are going to highlight back up, leaving as much of the Bad Dad Black in the recesses as you can. You're going to highlight the armor plates back up with Regal Blue. And the gold, instead of highlighting back up with Shining Gold, we're going straight to Burnished Gold. And for that, we're going to go really where the light would naturally hit the model and not so much in the darker areas to provide that contrast. All right, then once you're done with that, the next step is that we're going to use Shadow Gray first and then Space Wolves Gray to highlight the edges. So let's focus in on this model here. This is just with the Shadow Gray on the helmet by the eyepieces here on the shoulder pad the leg pieces the rim of the jump pack the center thruster any of the hard edges that isn't covered with the gold that isn't rimmed by the gold So that's just a shadow gray, and let's look at two of them with the Space Wolves gray. And for this we're really hitting the edges of the plates. Ooh. See here in the center thruster and there on the leg. So you want to hit the hard edges for the face for the helmet right where it comes to a point. Like you want to find the points and then you just give it a little bit of that edge highlight really fine. Okay, and then for the sergeant guy, you want to, the aspiring champion, I mean, you're going to take your Talon Flesh. And that's right, we're going to give him a flayed skin robe. So we start with Talon Flesh. And I actually wanted to see what it would look like if it was red. And so I used a dark flesh, which you can see on the inside that I kept. It's kind of a red color, reddish color, dark red. But then I thought, yeah, I, I, I didn't really like it. And I think we can do more with the, with the flayed, flayed skin, kind of like the, the, the jacket of the Dark Eldar Homunculus. So that's kind of the same effect that I'm going to go for. Maybe not as rotten, maybe this will look a little bit more freshly freshly sliced off rather than cured and stitched together like the homunculus. Okay, so once you've got the armor and the gold trim highlighted back up and once you've got the talon flesh on the aspiring chaos champions robe thing, the next thing we're going to do is adding bolt gun metal and we're going to be working on the silver parts next. So we'll see you in that section. Alright, the next step is what is known as the Games Workshop Triumvirate of painting metallics and that is to use a bolt gun metal to paint all the metallic areas and then shade it down with Bad Dad Black and Devlin Mud. So for me I painted the bottom part of the back thrusters. Anything that has these coils to it, there are a lot of them, 
the middle part of the back thrusters, these gears, and then uh, the middle grill of the thrusters and anything else that has grills. So uh, this front plate, the mouth grill, the shoulder grills on the sides, and then the ones in the front of the thrusters. I also painted up the this part of the chain sword, the side part, just because I felt it needed some some metallics and because it's got these vents in the back. So once the bolt gun metal is painted on all of the models, then you come back and you wash it first with Devlin mud so that it gives it a dirty, oily f feel, and then again with Badab black only in the darker recesses. And it's important to go with the Devlin mud first because if you don't, if you go with the Bad Eye Black first, you might just feel encouraged to just slop, you know, slap it on there and make it a lot darker than it really needs to be. So that is it for the metallics. The next thing we're going to focus on are that each of these Raptors have these strips of, I guess they're supposed to be cloth on the back of them, usually by their holsters, gun holsters or grenades on their waists. So we're going to paint those up fleshy, like flayed skin, just like the aspiring champion. So for that you're going to need dark flesh, talon flesh, ogren flesh wash, and leviathan purple. So once you're done with the metallics, we'll start on that step. So we're going to be using talon flesh and dark flesh, and these are the strips of cloth that I'm talking about right under the gun belt. So you want talon on the side that's facing up, and dark flesh underneath. And what the dark flesh does is it creates a really dark, hearty red. <laughs> so it's it's like a strip of meat almost. And it's, yeah, it's really gross. So then you're gonna wash it first with Ogren flesh and then with Leviathan purple. And that'll give you this look. For just the top, the Tyler flesh. The dark flesh is pretty, is, we're pretty much gonna leave it how it is because you're not really going to see it, and if you do, it doesn't need the highlights. Otherwise, I feel like it would detract. If you want to add a little bit of a highlight, you could add some bleached bone, but I really feel like it doesn't need it. So it gives it this really bruised up look to it, and I do this for all of my all of my stripped flesh because it's just so, you know, it's really interesting to look at. Then you're going to highlight back up with talon flesh, and you're going to add in a little bit of rotting flesh because this gives you a greenish tinge to it. Where is it? Here we go. If that doesn't work for you, if you'd rather use bleached bone, then then I find bleached bone is generally a great color to highlight with, and that's really what I use it for. I don't use it to paint any of my bone items. For those, I use Deneb stone. So that's kind of the, the look you want. I, I feel like even this is a little bit too light, so I might go back over it with a little bit of a, a glaze of the purple and the ogren flesh, just to give it a little bit of contrast and shading again. But let me show you what it looks like for my aspiring champion. The shading, you want to stay deep in the recesses, and the highlights, you want to hit the edges and just make it look like strips of meat right before it gets thrown on fire. Gross. Strips of flesh. There's the back and there's the dark flesh underneath. For the face, what I did was I did a talon flesh and then I washed it again with ogren flesh and leviathan purple but only on the edges because look at all of these you know, cybernetic stuff going on underneath. And then for the eyes, to make him look sickly and gross, I did a wash of thin down regal blue under the eyelids for giving him the pupils. And then I did Deneb stone for the skull, and then for the plate I did boat gun metal. So gross! According to the Night Lord fluff, the Night Lords don't have pupils, like their eyes, they don't have irises or something, so the pupils are all completely black. 
but their skin is also really deathly pale too. And I was worried that if I did that with this guy, then the skin would match too much into the skull. And I really want you to be able to see the skull from farther away. So I decided to go with regular flesh, like how I would paint it for a regular guy. And I think the, the effect is a lot better than if I went for a fluffy, accurate Nostromo native-born sun. Nostromo is the planet where the Night Lords come from. So I'm going to say that either the... Either this Night Lord was inducted into being a raptor from off-planet or, yeah, or he joined them somewhere along the way on their, in their war against the Imperium and he was not a native born of the planet. So once you're done with the flesh, the next thing we are going to look at is, what would be the next thing? Oh yeah, the straps and the belts and the pouches on, on the belt. So... For that, you're just going to need some Calthan Brown, and these are what I'm talking about, these pouches right above the flesh. So, Calthan Brown and Devlin Mud, and we'll see you in that step. Psyche, We're not going to do the pouches, we're actually going to do reds next, because I was coloring the pouches and the holsters, and I was doing them in a bunch of different browns, but just because the skin, the flayed skin, is already so brown, um, it has a little bit of the brown color and hue to it, then uh, it just detracted from all the flayed skin pieces. So I decided to go with reds next. So you're going to need mechrite red, blood red, and skull white. <coughs> so the first thing we're going to do is the wiring around the mouth. And going into the jump pack in the back in the center. And anywhere else you want to pick out loose loose wires, like into the melta gun. You're also going to be doing the eye lenses. So you want to base with mechrite red, and then you want to highlight up with blood red. For the eye lenses, you're also going to add in a little bit of dwarf flesh or bleached bone or something that's going to lighten the red without making it turn pink. So no whites, don't use any whites, but use something more of a neutral tone. Either dwarf flesh or bleach bone works great. And paint that into the center. <clears throat> kind of closer, as close as you can to the, to the center of the islands. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to add a little dot of white in the upper corners, the upper outside corners. What I also did was, I, I found the grenades, so... Or I, I, I found that I hadn't done the grenades yet, so... For, for the frag and the crack grenades, I just painted them in bolt gun metal. So with my bolt gun metal, I'm going to continue to paint any parts of the weapons that I haven't yet painted. So, a lot of Chaos weapons are black, but when I looked through the Chaos Codex, the Night Lords seem to base all their weapons in this kind of bolt gun metal, shiny metallic look. And I, I, I don't know if I want to copy that just because I don't want it to detract from the model. You should be able to see what a model is holding, but I think like some of the black casing can be can remain black. So for the metal for, for the bolt pistols I'm just going with the with the barrel this thing under the barrel, the clip maybe, or where's the other guy here for the the bullet casing. I'm going to go down the center with some dwarf bronze in a little bit to make it look like shells. Pistol shells. Yeah, but I'm going to keep most of the housings, or the casings, black for these weapons. For the plasma weapon, what we're going to do next is we are going to, for the plasma pistol, we're going to base this in turquoise blue, hawk turquoise, and then we're going to build up steadily with ice blue. So, through the magic of video editing, let's show you what that looks like. And there we have it, our finished plasma pistol. The metallics are done with bolt gun metal and shining gold. And the coils are done with hawk turquoise and ice blue. And all you do is base the, light, the plasma coils with the hawk turquoise and then lightly feather up with ice blue. So, once you've gone over the metallics of all of your weapons in your squad and touched all those up, 
and we still have to drill the bolter hole for this guy. Then one of the last things we're going to do as we're coming up on the finish here are the lightning claws for the aspiring champion. And we don't want to just give him regular bolt gun metal lightning claws because that would be boring. So I am going to direct you once again to Katata Fish's tutorial on how to paint lightning claws. This is where you want to go. C-A-T-A-T-T-A-F-I-S-H. How to paint lightning claws. And he takes you step by step through his process and it's so good. And it's just, he, he shows you how to do it on paper with the, with the paints. And then he shows you how to do it on the actual model afterwards. And it's so great and it's so easy to follow and I just I just sit here with my guys and I just I just follow his tutorials step by step and I, I really want to one day be as as awesome as he is and just explaining everything so easily and so well so so come to this video to learn how to paint lightning claws and we'll see you with our aspiring champion when that is done Alright, so now we're doing the lightning bolts, and for these you need ice blue and skull white. First step is you're going to trace your lightning bolts with ice blue. And you want to go in a kind of an unpredictable pattern. So that it doesn't look like just a bunch of zigzags, zigzag lines, but you want it to look like fork lightning would naturally look. And I would suggest if you need to, go look up some some reference material online towards finding real lightning bolts and pictures of lightning flashes and well bolts, not flashes, to see how they arc and how they can how unpredictable they can be. Here's a plasma pistol guy. And you don't have to go all the way down, like this one just kind of tapers off. And what I like to do is I like to connect the bolts from the upper leg plates to the lower leg plates. So it has some continuity. Some other bolt pistol guy. You don't want the white to be too thick, so do try to water it down a little bit. I can see some places where I did make the white a little bit too thick, so I'll probably touch it up with some regal blue later. And clean that mess up, don't know what I was thinking there. But this is a nice shoulder pad. And finally, with the aspiring champion, with his lightning claws, what I did was I made it look like the lightning bolts were coming down his lightning claws, or the, the gauntlet part, and erupting down each of his fingers arcs of energy. So you see you going through his index finger and going towards his thumb and then down each of his fingers on his fist in the back. So really happy with the way that turned out. So the last thing we're going to do is we are going to just touch up the base and then this is really for you to decide how you want to make it look. If you want to make it look like a puff of smoke that he's lifting up off the ground then paint each of these guys with Adeptus Battle Gray or a Dark Gray. If you want to make it look like he's coming off a kind in a in a ball of flame, then Mechrite Red, highlighted up with Blood Red with some Blazing Orange to make it look like flames would be appropriate. But do whatever you want. I'm probably going to leave it just black now and maybe I'll build up around the base later. But we'll see you when everything is done for the final bit of this tutorial. And there you have it, players. Five fully painted Night Lords Chaos Raptors. Chaos Space Marine Raptors painted up in the color scheme of the Night Lords Renegade Chapter colors. And I'm not going to include it because I'm just going to let you base how you want. But I'm planning on basing them as my Terminators with these this kind of rubble, urban rubble look. And keeping it dark because... They like to hunt and stalk and fight at night when they have the advantage. And 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you found some of it useful and thanks for staying with me this long for anyone who's made it this far and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and if there's anything else you'd like me to paint up and do a tutorial on then please let me know if not what I'm planning on doing next is a tutorial on my Hellions so that I could get the 15 of those done up and then maybe later do a tutorial on my sexy Lilith Hesperax the fine cast one because I've got some some great plans for how I'm gonna paint her up but thanks again for joining me and we'll see you later bye bye